This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <gasps> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Oh, so I backed this up a little bit. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. It's like a recap for people that didn't see How it. Who are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. Examine Nightingale's body. Go to the sheriff's station. Just make sure we have everything up here. Says jewelry can be used as a subtle indicator of membership, but this isn't subtle, even though it's got to go there. What? If they're hot in their faces, they are established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest. Case closed. Huh. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Go to the sheriff's station. Okay. out of the ordinary in town lately is it just people in deer masks I'm suspicious but lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest practically everyone will be wearing one good to know so rose help me out how do you think we know each other we all know each other around here it's been a while but i never forget a face or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. All right, let's get to this sheriff's station. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue. If you're ready get to, to the take sheriff's over. station, let's go. And then we well, should be good. I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Mm -hmm. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What's she do now? 
She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take it personally. I mean, she don't just get to say your kid drowned, bro. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, well, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. All right, let me go ahead and look around. I'll be right with you, sir. You check these areas yep, yep. out. It's the bathroom. Just What's here in here? My ticket. Whenever you're ready to take my money. I know one of you is still in the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you ran-headed, handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you got too much time on your hands. Yeah. These fools is beefing over toilet paper. <laughs> Bro, did you steal the toilet paper? All right, let me close this. You, you handle the business. All right, let's check this office. I can't get through this. Mm. What's in here, though? They locked up an innocent man. Who? Bunch of bastards. Who? Who's Believe lying? Me, right? Yep. Who? Tell me who lied. Cause I'm I'm thinking a man with suspenders, man. I don't know. No speeding happening here, I see, sir. I'm just trying to make sure. Please. Check all these doors to see if there's any. Yeah, y'all wait down there in the hallway. Check these rooms out, bro. See what kind of investigations they've been doing in here. Agent. What up? As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Oh dear, I'm a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. Oh dear, I'm a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only I had a tourist, I'd also be scared. Oh no, a bear. <laughs> Let me see this. Help. <laughs> Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala, voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why at Coscala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, fuck the government. <laughs> we have bolt cutters. Oh, wow. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere. <laughs> Hiking through the scenic <laughs> Elderwood National Park. Look at one man walking Park. in the front. What's he doing? Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. Tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermal. All right, we didn't get anything else out of here but just the videotape.
So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Let me check. Let me check this room first, bro. About morgues, they always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. All right, we need a key. We got a gun. Nah, how do you? How do you? Equip the gun. Now we know how to get the gun. We just got it quick slotted. I thought we had a flashlight, but. Force it open. I got all these doors locked. They know I'm about to go through and get some extra inventory. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? There's writing on here. They tattooed his heart. Can't make it out. Writing. How'd they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Uh-huh. They did leave something inside his chest. They did? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. There's something else. Oh. Defensive wounds. We put up a fight. I have to see what Nightingale's <clears throat> body can tell us. How was that not a part of this? Text is smudged, looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Let's go back and look.
same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. They don't wear masks, they don't put gloves or Nightingale nothing. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Did you read them? the gun get way out there. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming. No weapon. Oh. to get into the light. We're gonna stand right here until try to stay in the light to avoid being detected. Most definitely. <laughs> Flick the switch. What these? What they mean? Show me the clicker, bro. Oh, come he can't on. see me in the light. Right. Once he goes the wrong way, I'm out. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Gone. Let's go. <clears throat> he vanished. Oh, that's the end of the chapter. What we got going on now? Let's go. Turn me up.
Okay. That was wonderful. You see the face right there in the water? That was tough. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh. He, he just... Disappeared. Oh, so you've seen that too. What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. It says you can read your collected manuscript pages in the mind, please. Talk to Casey. Who is Casey? Bro, are you Casey? We were attacked by a dead man. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Nah, we gotta leave ASAP. We need to call the Ghostbusters. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. It says, is this the work of the cult? The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree <clears throat> is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal. No. Their purpose. We need to call the Vatican. Because we are not prepared for this type of supernatural stuff. This is not what we're here for. We solved the murder. And we seen two people disappear. Let's check. Let's check and see if we got some supplies that we can pick up now. And we know we're dealing with a supernatural being. Let me get a med kit, please. A grenade, anything. Must be locked from the other side. All right. I'm just glad my man is alive so he can back me up and... Look at this. What is this? How are we going to explain this? That we the only two alive. And we got dead people down here. And the dude that killed him is not here. Like, how are we supposed to explain that? Do you have the keys? Um, we can't. How do we get out of here, bro? It doesn't budge. All right, we gotta go. We have to go. How do you think we get out of here?
Casey, the cult of the tree is performing rituals. Goal? All right, let's see. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. It looks like I agree. They trying to get me or not me, but you know, I mean, they trying to get old girl to go crazy or the way she is. Victim body organs covered in writing page found inside the chest. Writing. Hold on. <clears throat> Text tattooed on the victim's manuscript page found inside writing has significance here. No, we still got this. Bro, where are you going? Victim of the cold became a monster. Think. What are we trying? Chill. Did you ever get crazy like that? What's wrong with you? Oh, that's the song. That song is tough, though. This has to go somewhere. Just like that, we figured it out. Figure out where Nightingale went. All right, well, we can't do it here. Come on, bro. We got to get out of here. Yo, come on. See if we can get out of here. Is there like another path or something? What's over here? Oh, we gotta go to the weapon upgrade. Let's see. Are we gonna take a drink? Casey's favorite brand. Tastes terrible. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. So we don't clean up after ourselves either. Bro, what the hell? If you go through the look. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Is this her boyfriend or something? Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Pretty little girl. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. All right, I think the only thing we can do is go here. We've already read those. Did that. The map is it. Can we get out of this thing right here? Figure out where Nightingale went. I'm kind of stuck. He's not even talking or nothing. Dang. All right, what are we supposed to be doing here? Am I missing something? Are we missing something here?
It won't open. Let me get those keys. Bro, I cannot get out of here. What's going on? It's got to be something simple. Brother, what you want to do? Just stand here or what? What are we about to do? Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Yeah, but we already did all of this. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is not? We already did that. Bro, I don't know how to get us out of here. We're at Cauldron Lake. Why? She already told us that. I'll go back to the case board because as of right now, I'm stuck. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Hmm. What are these pages? Hmm. That's everything, right? Talk to someone that says, find evidence. All right, I, I'm really not sure what we're supposed to do here. places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake calls him a Taken we need to head over there stop him before anyone else gets hurt okay we're trying to talk to him for like five minutes we, we heard gunshots y'all okay did you get spooked by the bodies Sheriff Breaker disappeared Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Alright, I'm watching you two because I think you're part of the team. I think you're part of the cult and I'm going to watch you very carefully. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? 
can't open this with my bare hands. That's crazy talk. Monsters aren't real, and what do you mean the, the sheriff disappeared? Like poop? He's gone like magic? Magic's not real. <laughs> my man going crazy. He's going. He's smart. He's right though. Magic's not real. A man shouldn't be able to disappear like that. And nobody up here seen anything. They're a fine pair. Give me that. I need some Cheetos real quick. It pissed me off. I'm opening up all the doors. Sent me down there and tried to get me killed. What's that name? Nothing. I need a key for that door down there. off your computer and follow me the key all right we getting out of here who is this person right here like looking like the freaking dude off of my client has been held here long uh, enough just a moment ma'am are you gonna let Someone me speak to them right or not you. who's your client what kind of get up you got on Going here. All right. We gotta go. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? Smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, hey, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Bro, we need to get to that vehicle. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Where I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Alright, where'd you go? I'm just gonna look around real quick. What did you use on? Wrong with your face. Marisetta won't roll over on the issues. She out here smoking, bro. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be looking around for, but I didn't, see, I didn't find anything. Go over here and see these dudes. Oh, there's a map. Hi. Take care now. What's wrong with your face? Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready to go? Waiting on you. All right. I think this is going to be a good stopping point for this episode. So as y'all can see, it's, it's getting crazy. We were just in the police station where we were attacked by Nightingale, the no heart man who set up like the undertaker and beat the whole station up. And nobody's seen anything. And the only person that seems like they're smart is the dude that they said was dumb. So we'll see what happens on the next um, chapter. If you guys did like this episode, please hit the like, share the video and leave me a chat uh a comment down in the chat and let me know if you want me to play uh, more of this stream it or if there's any other games you'd like to see me play i appreciate you checking the game out and i'll catch you in the next one